We, uh, by the grace of God, I think found each other. Our stories interwove uh, because of some major life changes for both of us. And we ended up coming from very different places, uh, really across thousands of miles to the same spot. And our friendship just formed over time. Well, it really wasn't until we started working together a little bit, working on little projects here and there that we figured out, man, we're a good fit. We're bringing two pieces of one whole together. When Jeremy and I play together and create together, one of the, the key themes that's always pulsing through what we do is the creation of what we'll call liturgical spaces. Liturgical spaces aren't necessarily uh, full-on liturgy as it might happen in a high church or cathedral or some particular tradition. What we mean by liturgy is we create ordered spaces that leave great room for the soul to breathe within. You know, when Dan talks to you about hymns, you can't help but to love hymns by the time that he's finished talking about hymns because uh, he'll tell you the history of stuff, he'll tell you who wrote what, and he'll give you the stories behind him, and he'll tell you the traditions and why they chose this chord and not that chord. And to ignore that part of our history, it would just be a shame. And to me, we're standing on the shoulders of those hymn writers, Mus both musically and lyrically. We wouldn't be here without them. Instrumental music for me is like painting on a canvas. You can, with certain sounds, create the dark colors that give depth to a painting. With certain sounds, you can create the bright colors. You can take an instrumental, a particular direction, and my favorite part is like a painting. 100 people can have a different interpretation and even experience with that particular work of art. It's sometimes there's joy that is so unspeakable that can't be said, that would be tainted by words, that would be railroading somebody if you were to put words to this joyful music. Sometimes there's sorrow, there's lamenting that takes place, and to try to express that uh, could come up short with words. And so to leave these songs voiceless, it allows people to connect with the music in a way that takes them to a place where they need to go, not, not a place uh, where you think they need to go or where they're being led, but really it's a place that they can go being led by the Spirit. For me, instrumental music simply creates a space that is collaborative. The person is bringing something to it. I believe there's something sacred that happens in that moment as God whispers into it. And there is a collaborative experience that goes on that only instrumental music can provide. To us, worship is a journey. And we're worshiping the way that we know how. And it's our desire that as we cut this path on our journey, that, um, that others come along with us or that they, that they find their own way. You know, that's really, at, at the heart of what we do, we've got two guys who have been worship leaders for a really long time. And uh, that's just gonna come out in, 